Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new piercing TikTok fail reaction video. Hi everyone, what is the tea? What is the Darjeeling, the Lapsang Sushan, the Scalding Hot Assam, the L Grey? What's the tea? I don't want any goddamn tea. But yes, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now today we are delving back into the world of TikTok piercing fails. You guys love these videos, I love making them. If, as long as you keep sending me things to react to, these videos will still be made. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who just follow me over on TikTok and sends me things to react to. Please come over, as I said, come over there, come TikTok, come send me things and maybe your one can be into the next vidwash liaise. And of course, as always, Please, please, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you are watching on a TV, you can scan this QR code and subscribe on your phone. If you have the app, make sure you do that so you don't miss anything that is coming up. But anyway, let's not beat around the bush, Watelier, and get on with these TikTok piercing fails. Music! So what's this? Wait, what? So this person has... Says, a, wait, so they've got a curved barber on a needle. They're gonna put a piercing here? On the side of the arm? Sis, just get a dermal. Oh God. As, so, like, as someone who had surface piercings in their wrist, don't do it. It just, it's just annoying. Like, you're just gonna get scars. It's just gonna be annoying. Obviously you can't see the scars anymore because they've tattooed over them. But like, I had wrist piercings and ugh, they, they uh, So again as well, that is so small. There is zero room for anything. That's just gonna be either enveloped into your arm or just reject instantly. But also like, why are you putting it on the side? Like that's where the skin moves. At least mine was on, like mine was on the top here. So like there's a little bit less movement, but on the side, God, oh, smiley face. Oh yeah, God. This isn't even a really old video. It's just from January, like, it, like, can we, I thought we would have learned by now that this kind of stuff is just stupid. Just get a dermal, just get a dermal on the top of the wrist or something if you really want this on your arm. But to get it on the side here is really stupid. And again, we're completely ignoring the fact that they've put a curved barbell and a surface piercing. Like, what are you doing? We know better now, we know better now. Like, I can understand maybe, you know, 10 plus years ago, you can't use that excuse anymore. Like we know now, like this is, this isn't just like some of like strange hidden facts that piercers don't know. Like we know better now, like cut, move with the times, stop doing this kind of piercing and modification that is really outdated. That just ends with scars, pain, swelling, keloids. Piercing today. Pierce, wait, 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 hang on. Pierce piercing. 10 things in one sitting, including bridge, nose, and belly. And now she's dead. Me being shocked, wait, these, these, these are happening, me being, wait, wait, wait. Me being, no, don't like it. I'm not endorsing this, Jesus. Me being shocked because I don't know what I'm doing. Why? So then, oh God, no. oh shaking, quivering. I don't remember there being blood, but okay. Oh I'm God. Just, I'm literally me just fucking struggling. It's Your like a bitch. belly like, button. Jesus. Things are going pretty well, right? Whoa. No. Upside down, and I had to switch it, and it hurt like a bitch. Oh my God. Let me do my bridge. You're seeing my bridge. You did all of this in one. Wait, you're doing all of this in one go. Oh my God, I'm unwell. Unwell. I feel sick. Okay, I know the bar's too short. Don't tell me. Ear piercing compilation! I can't remember the baby blood, but okay. And now they're just doing all these ear piercing. Are they, 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 they just did all this in one go? Are you joking? That is obscene. My hurt so f***ing bad that I was genuinely tweaking. Like, I was acting like a little bitch. Enjoy watching me what suffer. The, what's happening? Oh, I'll never understand Gen Z. Gender reveal, I've read that as, not grand reveal. As I always say, some people will only learn when they've given themselves horrific infections and have to fork out thousands of pounds for medical bills because they live in America. Some people, unfortunately, will only learn when they hurt themselves. Some people don't like being told the right and wrong answer. Some people don't like to be told. I get that like people can be stubborn. I'm very stubborn. If someone says to me, I shouldn't do these things because you know, there could be severe complications. I would generally listen. People like this clearly don't. Like I, some people just will only ever, only ever learn after they've like mangled themselves. Oh my God, she keeps pulling down. Point of view are getting a lip pierced by your pierce's apprentice or First of all, I get that everyone has to learn, but I'm someone, if they said that was an apprentice, I'd be like, no, sorry, and I'm not going to be the, the guinea pig. What out? So they're getting a lip piercing, but they keep letting go of the lip. 
Do you lie down for it? I feel like with the lip piercing, it'll probably be easier for the person to be at least sitting up. If you're lying down, isn't that going to make it difficult to get the angle right? Okay, now you're making me nervous. Yeah, I wouldn't. I agree. I, I would never. I'm sorry. And like I think getting an ear stud or something on an apprentice is fine, but like doing lip piercings, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure. I think I'd, I don't, I, I just couldn't. Personally, I just, I wouldn't want to be, I'd be too uncomfortable. I wouldn't want uh, to be the first one. The needle before she pushes this is her first, it's her first one. Yeah, no, sorry, I couldn't do it. No, sorry, baby. couldn't do it. There's many people that are happy to be the guinea pigs for trainers and stuff, but not me. <laughs> Get that angle and that needle in there, and then you know you're gonna open your mouth mm. once you get some. No clamp? Yeah, but the Hold thing, on. like, the, like Wait, the way that I'm they're doing like this, a, I just don't feel like really it's, nervous. it's... Like sit the person up and then also use a clamp. I think if you're a new person as well, use a clamp for ease. Like once you get a good understanding and a technique, then I think it's okay to kind of like do things a little bit more freehand. But I think when you're training, get rid of some of the 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 the, the difficulty by trying to be perfect by just using a hand, by using a clamp that can hold things in place easier. I think for new piercers, I think it's better oh, wow. to use a clamp than it is to... But also, I don't understand why they're piercing a lip here, but they're trying to go at an angle, like, above the nose and down this way. Like, where everything's kind of in the way. Like, she, look, look, she's, like, hitting onto the nose like this. Like, sit her up and then go up. Or at least use a clamp to pull her out to have enough... Pull it out. Out. Bend. Okay, oh God! What I said about your hand? So grab that needle. Yeah. I don't think this person's ready. This person is not ready to, to be doing this kind of piercing yet. So you're doing it? No, I'm just gonna show you the steps. So normal. So you can grab, pull out. So now he's trying to. Sh she's giving. I just feel like that one is. And you're just gonna come this way. And you're gonna place it in there and let the needle. See how I get my hands? So you let like, look at the bashing into do. the nose. Like, sit. I don't okay, understand so why you're doing that? it like this. That's the perfect spot. I've had three lip piercings now, and all three times, it has never that? been anything like this. What's happening? I don't know. Why are you. Wait, what? What is happening? Is he. Pier he said he wasn't piercing it, but now he is? Oh, fuck. Open up. A lot easier if it just opened your mouth. Oh, no need to be rude. Oh, yeah, that out. was... He, and he's meant to be the professional. So then he did it. Not even the... Why were you doing it so slow? What is happening in this... I'm so... Sorry, I'm so... I'm not saying much because I'm so bewildered. What is happening? Yeah. That was so much excessive, like, stress and pain for this girl for literally no reason. Oh, the police are here. Oh, you're arrested, girls. You are now liable for prosecution. Oh, you said you weren't doing it, so I got scared. That was, that, sorry, so much happened then that I'm so, so he, yeah, he, first of all, he should never, he said that he wasn't gonna do it, but then did it in the end. But like, I also don't understand if he's the professional, why was he doing it so slowly? Why was he training the person to be like, this is how you do it, but then showing, the trainee how to do it completely wrong. What happened? What just went on then? I, I, I generally, I'm a bit gobsmacked. I'm a bit like, I'm a bit confused as to what the f just happened. Hinky pinky ponky. Why was he doing it so slowly? But also like, that was how he was training this other person by doing it that slowly because that's in itself really wrong. Hinky pinky ponky. The piercing done wrongy. Far too slow. Trainee's gone. Death, hell, Satan. <laughs> That's my favorite song. Sorry, my brain is frazzled by that. I'm I'm fully bewildered as to what the hell just happened. What ha wow. And now she's dead. Warning, watch me pierce my, wait, 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 what's well, sorry. Watch me pierce my industrial, oh, for God's sake. Music, oh, I'm gonna turn the music off, I'm gonna get hot So they're doing the top, oh God. Actually, you're not even gonna like mark it or anything. They're just literally just like, going in. Raw. There's just like no marking, no measuring or anything. They just, they just decided to go in. That is so close to the edge. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, this is not going to stay in your ears, sis. This is going to. Oh no. Oh God, sure. Hope you enjoy the rejection. Like that is. That top one is actually re like it's already really close to the edge. 
But it was the way there was no like, they just got decided to say, okay, we're just gonna pierce to the top bit here and just see what happens. Trying to do these kind of piercings on yourself is gonna be really difficult because of the angle you need to do it at and trying to get your arm right and arm straight and everything like, these are like, again, one of those things I always say, don't do piercings anyway at home, whatever. I don't, I don't think I need to keep saying this, but like, Things like this is one of those ones that you really shouldn't do at home. But that bottom half, like this bottom half is so like aggressive and angry. Like it's, you didn't have the anatomy to begin with for it. So it's like, wow, hmm. Inky pinky punky, the piercing got infected. Cat and died, her mother cried. Inky pinky punky. <laughs> Oh, the internet is utterly deranged. This is discrimination. I just got my Helix Pierce oh God, and loud. let me just tell you, don't, don't. Okay, listen, I love my ear piercings. I love them. I Her take eyes pride are so in them. Incredible. I always have cute earring stack. But let me just tell you, this, I don't know what it, I don't know if it's a cartilage or- <sighs> It looks like you've been done with a gun. This won't. Cause you've done it with a gun. Maybe that's because I got it done at Claire's. Oh, look at me, Mystic Meg! It's like I always f***ing knew what was gonna happen! And a woman wearing dark blue is serving drinks. I have woken up to this ear burning. like Exactly, because burning, you've like used a piercing gun and it split like, your cartilage my open. My cells in my ears are like, I don't know, all I know is that I'm losing sleep because it won't heal. Yeah, because, and so, also because you keep playing with it. Um, Are you gonna say every time I wash it? No. No, that's too far. I don't want to wash it. You don't- wait, 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 wait. Did she just say she wasn't going to wash her pit? Wait, 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 wait. Um, are you going to say every time and wash it? No. No, that's too far. I don't want to wash it. That's... Sometimes, as I always say, some people just need to learn the hard way about things not going right. She's actively saying that she's not going to clean it and wash it because it's too much for her. You're a weakling and nobody. Then don't come on the internet and bitch and whine that your piercing isn't healing. That'd be like, I don't know, drinking so much, like, like, like literally, it's just like going out, getting drunk every single evening and being like, I don't know why I'm always hung over. It's not fair. Do I, should I stop drinking? No. I won't stop drinking, but I it's unfair that I keep getting hangovers. Like, it's one of those things of like, there is a cause and effect, <laughs> like, <laughs> and you're in denial, sis. But also, cartilage piercings can take, you know, six, eight, six, seven, eight, nine months to heal, let alone if you're doing it on a piercing gun. Like, she's just said, I've only just got it done. So, I don't know why you're expecting a cartilage piercing to be healed if you've only just got it done. Like, make it make sense. So, what is this? Come check this out! 13 year old gets tongue piercing. Much too good for children. I'm sorry. I'm. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. 13 year olds should not be getting tongue piercings. That's. It's not. As a studio, if you're piercing a 13 year old's tongue, then you're not a professional piercer. 13 year olds should not be getting tongue piercings at all. At all. It's just. It's. 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 No. No. No, Th you. I mean that. I don't think you. I don't think that's legal here. I'm pretty sure in the UK that wouldn't be legal, even with parents' consent. Like, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be legal. I'll have to check that, but I don't think it's legal here. Sorry. And she's got braces. I'm sure her her orthodontist is going to love that. Like, no. N Sorry, 13 year old should not be getting tongue piercings. That's way too young for a, a tongue piercing. Sorry. My school was quite liberal when it came to actually allowing people with piercings. I think maybe because it was a, <laughs> it was actually not a very good school. So like, it was very much like you know there were many girls in the, in uh, in school that had loads of like ear piercings, all up their ears, and there was some few guys had eyebrow piercings and stuff, which again is a bit weird for someone so young when your face is still growing and changing. My school would never have allowed a 13 year old to have a tongue piercing they would have been like you need to take that out there are some things that you you it's fine for younger people to do like earlobes and maybe even like a nose stud or something but like 13 year olds get a tongue piercing is is not is not it like you should be older to get that the the tooth damage that you can get as well just from just from having that and young people like that won't fully understand what it must be like that when you're an older and you can make com in, like real in, uh, informed consent about what these things mean a kid that young the amount of tooth damage that could probably happen. Like, just so many dangers. Like, for young people that- No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. If I should really have to explain to you why tongue piercing on a 13-year-old isn't good, then there's an issue. I also know many body piercers, and none of them would pierce a 13-year-old's tongue. Like, that- they just would never do that. I don't want people commenting. Well, I had mine on the 13, I was fine. Good for you. Doesn't make it okay. I said what I said! Day one, zero out of ten pain, not- Oh my god! 
that, wow, that death is, that death piercing already looks like it's like rejected like for six months it's on the edge and it's only just been pierced. Look, look, how, look, that is like, that is so shallow. That is so shallow, sis. This looks like it's already grown out all the way and it's not like holding on by a thread. Like, how has that or only just been done? You need, you need to get that redone, sis, by someone who knows what the f they're doing. Oh my God, it's about to jump, girls. Oh my God, it's like, you can already see like a little bit of the bar. Like, sis, please take it out and get it redone. So what is this? So this person, wait, what? Oh, can we not shove guinea pigs through our piercing, like, hoops? Like, that's not a thing of like, oh, this silly bitch just went through it. No, you put, you did that. Like, it's not like a tiny mouse that kind of managed to run around. Like, your guinea pig, like, you did that. Can we just leave animals and piercings out of it? You did that. Let's just, let's just, like, let's just leave it. Because that isn't like a thing of like, oh, the hamster was just, uh, the guinea pig was just here and it slowly moved. No, you would have put that through. There's no way that it would have got that far through without you realizing what was happening. Like, can we stop this, please? Animals are not props to use in videos like this. Like, if you want to make lovely guinea pig content, you go ahead and do it all. But doing things like this is like weird to me. I just don't like it. Oh, Christ. Oh my God. Oh, it's a bit, oh. Can I just stop it from moving? Wow. So this person just is just fully covered from he from head to chin. Head, eyes, nose and chin, nose and chin. That is, I mean, this first photo was like the most insanity one. Hang on, can it play? Wait, how do I change the photo on a computer? Oh, down here. Again, this is one of those things that if this really makes you happy, you live your life, girl. I just could not imagine having that much on my face. It would just really annoy me. How do you like, like do you just, when you wash your face, do you just kind of like just have a really high powered jet on your face and just let the water like spray on your face? Cause how do you wash like in between? It must take so long. It must take so long to wash your face without like pulling a piercing out. Also like to have all of this in your nose, how would you breathe properly? I don't know. I know some big jewelry can have like holes in and stuff, but have this many different things in your nose. Although this is even more. This must be an older photo because this one here, like this, there's even more on the face. I don't know how it's comfortable. People always say to me, like, how do I sleep? And I'm like, I just lie down, it's fine. But to have this much like over your face as well, when you just roll on things all the time, and I don't know. If the, again, this is one of the things, if this makes you happy, wonderful, you live your life, girl. But personally, I just, I, 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 I think it's like, for my own taste, it's way too much. I could never have anything like this. I, I don't like the way that it looks because there's, I think it just looks a bit messy. Have fun! Although one thing that we did miss a second ago, look at the finger. He has a piercing. No, 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 this is stupid. Having a bar through your baby finger from like, from left to right, like that is stupid. Like that is stupid. Like that is stupid. Oh, Claire's. Oh. What are the odds you get your nose pierced right now? One, one through, through 10. One, one through, through 10. ten. Three, two, one. Seven. Seven. Oh dear, he it was psychic. <laughs> so Most wild turn of events. He's just randomly gonna get his nose pierced. Oh. God, he has the same hair as I used to. You wanna to. hold my hand? Nah. One, two, three. Jesus, that Slide. piercing was like withering. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Hey. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, so wait, we just oh. we need to start again. First of all, first of all. This person literally has the same haircut that I used to have when I was in my teenagers. Believe it or not, I was a blonde woman. Yes. They just did like a weird thing where they were just did a number guessing game. And if they got the same number right, the guy would have to get his nose pierced. So out, out of nowhere, he's just randomly going to get his nose pierced that he didn't want to begin with. But now like, can we just look at this piercer? Look at the shaking. Look at like the the quivering. You shouldn't be piercing people. I mean, personally, Claire's. Anyone working at Claire should not be piercing anyone at all. Anyway, like that should not be legal. Anyway, these people are not trained piercers. Like, let's just be honest. It's like quite far. I don't know. I feel like it should be back a bit further. Like it's not really position. I mean, it's not positioned how where I would anyway. But came here for shoes, left with the nose piercing. He's literally got the same haircut that I had as, as a teenager. Have a little look, girls. Oh, I was once young and blonde and beautiful. Now. Not so much. You ugly bitch. But again, outdated. I've, I, it's, it's the whole thing about being, these outdated piercings. Like, what? I just don't, I would never understand how piercing guns are going to Claire's get your ears done and nose done and all that kind of stuff. It's still a thing. I, it's such an outdated thing. Outdated. I mean, it was outdated when I started doing these videos, what, six years ago. To still do them now? Especially nose. I'm using earlobes, but to do like your nose, that's even, f yeah. Okay, so what is this? I thought, uh, oh, hang on, the copyright music, no. I love the way you kill me, eat my feces. Like, what the? So this, this th th they've got their septum pierced, and they're like, we're gonna make a nice bow in my septum, yeah. Boa constrictor girls, boa con. Wow. <laughs> 
Oh, God. Any time to put the C word and anything just fits wonderfully. Oh, so they've just got a bow on their septum. Oh, little bow peep girls. I mean, it's fine. Like, their piercings actually healed. It's fine. Like, these, these, the air is a bit weird, but like, doing this with like healed piercings isn't really a big deal. As long as you don't keep it in there, it's fine. But like, yeah, put a nice bow, a nice bow on your nose, girls. Boa, boa. There we go. Yes. Welcome to my threaded bow scepter, Matt. They got gorgeous makeup though. Can we actually just like take away from what's actually going on here? Like this person, like stunning, stunning. So it was this throwback to 2021 where I was getting my ears pierced and no one noticed the blood curdling scream in the background. Wait, what? Hang on, it's twice, hang on. That, this it, can, it's faint, but you can hear it. Why are all these women dead? Legend has it the wailing woman of the shopping mall is still there today, haunting guests. <laughs> like, do you want me to say what it was though? That was actually my voice from the background being like, "No piercing guns!" Like you can see, they're piercing with a, they're piercing with like a piercing cartridge gun thing. That was actually me. It was the it was my sort of echo from the UK being like, "No, <laughs> no more wire hangers!" Oh wow! Inky pinky ponky. The wailing woman of the shopping mall Pierce the guns, she cries Yinky pinky ponky So what's this? Check out these reactions of getting piercings Oh, is this the same person who did it before? Comment or share below <laughs> Is this- a, I feel like- is this the same person as was before? I mean, the person behind the camera is more annoying than the person getting pierced here. <laughs> is it, this is the same per- <laughs> Jesus. The thing is, I, my biggest thing is if you react like this and screaming as much as this, then you shouldn't be getting the piercing. Like if you can't be at least some level of composure, then you shouldn't be doing it. Like, if you're reacting like that, you shouldn't be getting, like, you just shouldn't be doing it, sorry. But this is the same person, so a little while ago, I'll pause it. A little while ago, I had, like, a really big viral video on, on Instagram. I had, like, multiple million views, I can't remember what it was now. And it was a person who was like this, and they had, like, loads of really bad reaction clients. And I was like, why are all these people, like, screaming and shouting so much? It was, like, the most insane thing I've ever seen. And now it's, like, another compilation of even more people, which is making me feel like, is the piercer also doing something really wrong? Because, you know, statistically saying, everyone's gonna have some kind of bad reaction somewhere. Every piercer, like, every piercer will make a mistake. Every piercer at some point is going to have someone who is a terrible client. Like, that's always the, statistically speaking, these are gonna happen every, for every person. But the fact that there is so many people screaming and shouting at this body piercer studio, either they're doing it for a video and it's not actually true, or the piercer's actually doing something really bad. Because I'm like, why would you have so many? Like so many conspiracy theory girls. <laughs> okay, so this person was in this. Yeah, so, th so these people were in the first one. <laughs> Obscene. I just think if if there's this many people reacting to it, there's something else, something wrong going on there. Yeah. If you, if you're the kind of person that's gonna be moving, screaming, and shouting, you you just shouldn't get them done. Sorry. Not only is it unprofessional, it's also just like not helpful to getting piercings that way. So many more things can go wrong if you're pulling and screaming and shouting and doing all this stuff. Like no. But I still think the fact that this piercer is having so many people react like this, I'm like, is something weird going on there? Because it just seems strange that you would have so many people reacting like this. This is your sign to get a triple spiked helix. Oh, oh dear. That is, that is swollen. Oh, I hope you managed to hit, like, obviously three piercings are a max that you should get, but like, God, this, I mean, I have this here. This is what I have at the top of my hair. But we did two, let it heal, and then we did one afterwards. We didn't do all three in one go. I think maybe getting three piercings in cartilage all in the same area. You can get three piercings, but maybe don't, like, I don't think it's a good idea to get them all close together in the cartilage because that will really swell. Like, it swells enough with just one, let alone three. So, 
I hope you were able to heal that, but Jesus, that is, that looks painful. But I do love the way these vertical heal, like I love this. I love my little vertical helix triplet here. Like I, I absolutely love it. But yeah, I did two in one go and then I let them heal and then did the third one like six months later. So what hey guys, is this? come give myself some more piercings with me. Bought these off Sheen for like- Oh, not Sheen, girls! So on this ear, Ooh, I have kind of three sync, low piercings. And on Twitch, this ear, TikTok. I have three low piercings, a conch and my flat. Honestly, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do but I don't think I'm gonna do my cartilage because I'm too scared. Like, if there's one thing piercing yourself at home, like, say, I really want this piercing, so I'm gonna do it, blah, 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 blah. But to be like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm just decided I'm going to do this. It's like TikTok interaction and TikTok, TikTok likes. It's it, like, l let's not start modifying ourselves just to get some kind of, like, notoriety on the internet. Like, she has no idea what she's doing. It's just like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. Then don't do it. This isn't what we're supposed to be doing. I have an eyeliner and I'm just going to mark where I want to pierce it. Mm. I have my piercing solution and I also have some Q-tips as well. We're keeping it sanitary. We're keeping it clean. Clean, clean, clean. Keeping it sanitary clean. and keeping it clean. Then proceeds to do things that are unsanitary or clean. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they all do this though, don't they? Okay, apologies for the bad angle, girls. Oh, she slit her knuckles. Okay, so... Oh, God. Oh, see, no, that's too Before close. It's cluttered. Cluttery, watery, girls. Not great. I did not have a lot of lobe space left, and I am not a professional. I just want to show you all... You don't need to tell us. We know. <laughs> inky, pinky, ponky. The cluttered ear is wonky. <laughs> Drown it in spray. <laughs> there we have it. She, I actually can't believe that. I like the eyebrows though. I actually can't believe I just did that. I just did that. Anyway, moving on. Thanks for watching. Sure. I mean, she seems very sweet. Come on, sis. Like, can we just not though, please? Can we just not? It's my third ear with me. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so nervous. So I ordered a pack of disposable um, ear piercing guns. Uh Please don't do this at home. I'm just dumb. Yeah. First, open this up. I think that's okay. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so shook. Okay, ready? Oh my god, ready? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's kind of cute. Okay, period. <laughs> Cause I'm moving on up, moving on up I'm not gonna say anything now Keep my mouth shut So what's this? Ah, oh my god, it hurts. It's just salad. Oh, what's oh, what are you doing? <laughs> what, oh, what are you doing? Oh, stop it. What are you doing? Oh. As gross as it is. This is 100% the best way to eat with a new... Particle of right. <laughs> well, I wish you'd do it more quietly. Guys, when you have a new piercing, doing this and pulling it is not a good option. But there's also, it's just, they were like a vertical labre. That's just a normal labre. That's not a ver vertical one goes here and goes through. And you can see it like here. That's just a normal one. Not to get pedantic about it, but like, <laughs> what's this? So a newborn baby with a nose piercing. Call social services. Piercing a newborn baby's nose. Like, it... Pfft. If I have to tell you why that's not good, I'm worried for you. Let's pierce our nose together. Oh, dear. I literally have the whole crew here for moral support. Oh, Skylar the crew's there. The dog. The, the bins. The bins. A couple years ago, took it out. And so they had a nose piercing a while ago, but it was so taken out. So like, it would have fully healed by now. And there would be lots of scar tissue in the middle. So she's gonna force a pink hoop through, through her nose. She's like, no, girl. Like, if you're gonna pierce it right now, like, you need to clean it first. So. Well, obviously. Why is that a thing that need you needed to be told? It's gonna be so hard to push through my nose, but the hole might still kind of be there. I could see it from the outside. I don't know if it's on the inside. Still. No, because you're always gonna I have an indent. Stuck it in the beginning of the hole, and it already hurts. Oh, oh God.
Oh god, right, guys, can I just say that? Oh, hang on, it's almost finished. We managed to get it through. If you've had a piercing and it's been out for a long period of time, especially something on like the nose, if it's an earlobe, you can maybe try to like put a bath through or whatever because like earlobes tend to sometimes not really close or fully. Things like your nose was like quite thick bit of skin, like your cartilage and everything. Like these places will shrink and close. You'll get scar tissue from the middle. If you get a, if you just get an earring and just try to shove it through, you're going to rip through scar tissue and you can have a lot of complications because of that. Really bad hypertrophic scarring. Really bad if you get, you know, keloids. Like it's just never going to be a good idea. Like if you've had it gone for like, a, a, you should a few years, if you're not worn jewelry, just go get it re-pierced. Actually do it professionally because essentially like you could probably do more damage to yourself doing this than if you just get like a sewing pin and pierce your nose like from nothing. And actually just forcing a bath through scar tissue and ripping open scar tissue is one gonna be even more painful than just getting it pierced to begin with. But second of all, can have so many more complications when you start messing around with scars. Like you would never pierce your nose as well and put a hoop through it. Doing it like this doesn't make it any better because it's already pierced years and years ago. Also, the fact that it's like pink colored jewelry like that makes me feel like it's probably like acrylic or not the greatest like material. It was in like a pack like this. It's probably not very good quality. This looks like it's probably some like, you've gone to Claire's, you've gone on the rack or something and just taken like whatever's there. Multiple things in this video is like adding up to infections. But also she put it in backwards. She's also put it in backwards because isn't the whole thing about that is you're meant to have it the other way round, so it looks like it's fully a hoop. So you're meant to go up through this way and have the ring come round here. So she's even put it in backwards. <laughs> Throwback to when I tried to pierce my nose when I was 16. Oh God, this isn't, oh no, what's gonna, oh, wait. <gasps> and now she's dead. A terrible tragedy. That look, that, that must be so painful as well. This is the thing always when you think when kids do this, whatever, like you're risky. Like that sounded violent. Like she probably hurt herself quite a lot. Imagine these people who do this on their own or whatever and they faint. Imagine if they like fall and hit the head on like the side of like a hard surface and like really bleed out. Like there are so many different things. People don't think about this. They're like, oh, it's not that much of a big deal. St again, statistically speaking, these things will happen to people. And I'd like, is it worth taking the risk? to potentially fainting and then maybe falling over and hitting your head on like the side of the sink or the bath or something and maybe breaking your head or like really damaging yourself. You could fall in, I don't know, fall in like a, a pile of socks and they get lodged in your throat. <laughs> like, but there are so many different things that could happen. I just find it weird that people are so happy to risk all that. I'm just going to read a nice book instead. How can a human body heal a broken arm in six weeks, but it takes a whole year and an army of saline water to heal a tiny ass peen hole helix piercing? God. I'm not gonna pretend I understand the entire, obviously the entire biology of like everyone's bodies and all that shit. But what I will say is a lot of the time, I get questions sometimes when I talk about how you can only get three piercings in one go. And sometimes people will go, but when you can get like loads of surgery and nose jobs and all that shit. Well, first of all, when you're getting surgery, like doing all these multiple surgeries is always frowned upon. Like it's, it, it's never really, like a good thing to do. The only reason a lot of time they do a lot of surgery in one go is because going on a general anesthetic is quite dangerous for a lot of people. So to try to minimize the amount of times going under, they do multiple things at once, which of course carries its own risks. But again, it's one of those things you just weigh up each risk. However, anyway, that's beside the point. I'm gonna focus on like a broken arm because that's what this has just said. But like any kind of surgery or whatever, say you break your arm, when your body is trying to heal, when they put the body back together, they put it in the way that it should be. There's no like real foreign objects. I mean, if you've got like a really bad broken, they might have to put like a rod in or something. But for like, most people, if they've just got like a broken arm, it'll be put into place. You're put in a cast so you can't bend your arm. And essentially your body's like healing the way that it should be. And it gets put back together the way that it originally was. So you can heal an arm. So you can heal a broken leg, a toe, a finger, whatever. But when you get an ear piercing, you're inserting a foreign object into the part of into into your body that your body doesn't want there. It's not meant to be there. So your body finds it really difficult to heal because it's like, what the fuck is this? And I need to get rid of this right now. Get it out. So when you're trying to heal cartilage piercings, your body is trying to fight this bit of metal that's in the ear. And it's like, what is it? Get out, get out, get out. Which is why it takes so long to heal because it's trying to heal over something that shouldn't be there. But when you break your arm, they don't put loads of things inside your bone and your arm and around it. And it's trying to heal on these things. No, it's, it's fusing your body back to the way that it was before. And there's nothing there stopping it. A bit of metal in your ear is stopping your body from actually going the way that it should be. Any actual biologists and people of bodies that comment down below if I'm saying anything wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's the actual reason. <clears throat> okay, so this person's getting a nose piercing. Oh, music. Oh, 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 
They were possessed all of a sudden. Possessed! Oh, wow. She's either really enjoying that she's possessed or high. I don't know what's happened. Like the, um, my eyes rolled into the back of my head. Like, like what? 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 <laughs> Jesus. Wow. And now she's got a pierce. I mean, at least she's going to actually, she actually's got, she looks like she's actually going to a piercing studio with like actual needles. So like, it's fine. <laughs> but she's like, oh, help me girls. Oh, I've died. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if this uh, obsession with death will ever go. Who laughs so, when getting who stabbed? Laughs when getting stabbed? Oh, dear. she's been stabbed! You have it, like, right next to my face. I need a second. It's a tube. Uh, no, it don't it, even do nothing. Yes, it does. It literally goes in there and holds it. That's it. That's a feeding, a feeding tube? You can see in it? Yes. I know. Mm. <laughs> Spawn. Doing? I'm so Bro, it's easy. You got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Wait, what? That was weird. Wait. Ooh, ooh, don't ooh, move. Okay, okay. Ooh, don't move, go. 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 Stay still. Oh, don't be twitching. Oh, to witch a woo. He's coming for you. Hold your head still. Oh, she'll die. The tube's in, girls. It's gonna hurt more because my nose is big. Done. Easily. See, it was nothing else. Nothing to be scared of. Nothing really matters. She said, She knows it's fine. Are you crying? No, there we go, fine. I mean, I th fine. this Pierce is actually really good. I feel like actually he matched her energy quite well. Like, we've seen many yeah. people like freaking out and panicking and stuff. Yeah. On the scale of like annoying clients, this is very low to the bottom. <laughs> it's really not a big deal. It didn't take that long. She had a little bit of a panic, but actually it was fine. Like, I know sometimes people send me things. I think I'm going to be like this really crazy reaction. Actually, what just happened then is really not a big deal. Like, she flinched a tiny bit. The needle wasn't near her at the time. It's fine. And then they did it. There was no, there was no real waiting for ages. It didn't seem like it took a long, long, long long time. Oh god, copyright me. Da, 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 da. Wait, my tongue piercing. Da, da. I've got gout. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Da, da. I've got gout. Wait, what? That's just a lollipop head. Is this what we've come to now? Which is like, just put, like, sucking on a lollipop head to my tongue. You should stop eating this many lollies, sis. Your teeth are gonna rot away. <laughs> are we honestly just doing this now? We should just, like, take the, take a, a lollipop off the stick and just suck it onto the tongue and then that's just like, oh, content. 16 million views! Oh, people! I swear I'm going to scream. I can't believe that has 16 million views. 16 million view- I'm not even gonna look at the comments, so it'll probably enrage me. I'll probably just be a load of people being like, Oh my god, I can't believe you do that! Oh, what an insane piercing! It looks like you've got a keloid in your tongue! It's clearly a lollipop. My boy lollipop! <laughs> I'll never try that again. What's this? This person has a- a plug? What's happening? Oh, it's got like a little, it's got like a little, it's got like a little wind turbine thing in <laughs> Oh, my plug is generating electricity. My plug is powering my entire house. Oh, <laughs> oh good. That's quite funny. What's, what's actually interesting actually is, so my dermal conch here is at eight millimeters. If I ever go out in the wind, it whistles through my ear. And I don't, I don't know if it's audible to anyone else, but I can actually hear like a really, like really faint, like if it gets really windy and it blows through my tunnel. Very strange, it's very weird. I'm like, what's happening? Who's going? And then I realize, no, it's the wind. <laughs> I'm being haunted by the ghost of the wind. Like, <laughs> hello, I'm the ghost of winds past. Silly old bitch. Pierce is getting pierced. Okay, so, ooh. That's what we like to see though. Actual professional piercers getting it done by professionals. Cause that's how it should be. Oh dear, tongue. What the F? The F stands for f ah! <laughs> Even censored for tic yeah, yeah, TikTok has, I have like TikTok is so intense with their like rules regarding any kind of content. The amount of things that get taken down of mine that I put on here that is like apparently too graphic and it's just like, no, it's not. Wonderful, good, love to see it. So what's this? So, wait, what? Wait, what's happening? Why have they started, wait, what? But I've, it's, it annoys me so much when like the TikToks like start right at the end. It's like, but you've confused. This is so jumpy. This is a bit of like a, an assault on the eyes. Like, da -da 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 -da. 
So this person's getting a belly button piercing and then they're like, oh, wrap it up, girls. I thought they're putting like numbing cream on to begin with. Like, okay, sure. Sorry, I can't watch. This is too much. I'm all about jumpy editing and fast things, but that was too much. It was like, D -d 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 like, no, like calm down, sis. Just half those frames, half, take out half of those things and just make them a bit shorter. Like that was Jesus. TikTok wants you to do longer videos now. They don't care about these shorter ones. A uh, TikTok is such a, TikTok is such a weird place at the moment because like half these videos that we're watching, I'm just skip through some of it because they're so fucking long. I don't understand why all all the other platforms are trying to be like TikTok and making short form content. And now TikTok have gone, oh, we want to make long videos. Oh, so you can only make money now on TikToks that are over a minute long. You have to make longer videos now, long videos. It's like, what are you doing? Like, make your mind up, companies, please. Be one or the other. Stop trying to be everything because now the other companies don't want to be that thing because you've been it and now they're being something else. So they're not like you. Inky pinky ponky. <laughs> Like it's gonna be in, it's not even new that was out ages ago but for some weird reason now it's all of a sudden it's in my head and all i can hear is zinky pinky ponky daddy bought a donkey donkey died daddy cried inky pinky ponky <laughs> so what's this trigger warning wait they 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 wait, wait sorry that 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 labret scalpeling piercing blood bruising swelling oh jesus okay right oh is this what this is the results so they're getting they're doing a labret piercing, but they're like, they're they're going to be scalpeling. So they're basically they they want to stretch their labret, but they're they're doing like the shortcut to it, which is like you can open the skin up the same way that you can get punches in your lips and things, or you punch on your ears to make them bigger, quicker, without you know breaking the skin by stretching it so quickly. Oh gosh, <gasps> yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna have to blur what this is going on now. I cannot show. I can show piercings, but I can't show scalpeling. Like I oh oh god. <gasps> that must hurt so much. That must hurt so much. Like literally just like cutting through your lip like that. <gasps> oh God. Oh no. Okay, I can show that bit, that's fine. Wow. So now they're putting the plug in. I mean, again, it's, it's, it's a way to, to get to a larger size without like having to stretch. Like it's fine. The, you know, Cool. Good. Wonderful. I mean, yeah, great. This was performed in a professional setting. So please do not uh, try this at home. And that's what we love to see. This person actually heavily modified, but still going to an actual piercing studio to get things done professionally. And that's what we love to see. Well done. Wonderful. Delish. We love to see. What's so let's this? Let's talk about permanent jewelry while I put a permanent bracelet on my four-year-old granddaughter. Permanent jewelry on a four-year-old? I don't think. Permanent jewelry is a piece of jewelry, typically a bracelet, an anklet, a necklace. Or like, children are very, like, you know, clumsy and kind of silly, especially four-year-olds, to, like, permanently secure a piece of jewelry, like, around their wrist. Like, that's... What happens in the playground that it gets caught? And because it's permanently attached, it won't break off as easy if it was just on, like, a hinge or something. And like they fall over and they like really hurt their arm or something. The permanent jewelry is hypoallergenic and with proper care should not tarnish or wear. Now eventually the jewelry may come off. It really just depends on you. Eventually it will come off how, but like how hard you are on your jewelry. Children grow really quickly as well. So this kid's not going to have it on for very long before she's going to need to take it off because she's going to be getting bigger. And it really is a memorable experience that you get to have forever. Well, I don't know. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to bother listening to what she's saying. Like the thing is like, I like, just, just, just give the kid like a little bangle or something. One of those little ones that sort of just stretch over and come off. Like, I, th I feel like permanently like securing bits of metal onto children's arms is just a bit weird. I know I'm a grumpy old man, but I also don't like children. So like, I, I, I am not someone who's gonna be like, I just love children looking up. No, I, I don't. The fact that I'm saying this and I don't care about children, like, probably says a lot. I just feel like maybe permanently attaching metal around a kid's wrist is not a good idea. An adult, sure, because they can consent, they can understand what the, you know, what it is and everything, but like, a kid? I feel like you're just gonna ask your kid's arm to get really damaged from like, getting caught some, I don't know. You okay, so what is this? So, Incline Vertical Industrial. Oh, so it's our Swedish you. queen, I girls. I believe that this piercing is not as well known as it should be, especially where I'm from. I have probably seen the classic industrial, but today we're kind of bored of that. So we're, we're kind of bored, bored. Vertical Industrial. Okay, so they're doing the top one first. I always wonder like how, if this carries the same level of annoying healing as a 
regular industrial does. We decided to place it at a slight angle. We just wanted to get that crooked-ish kind of look. Oh, that was an old woman who lived in a show. And guys, what you're seeing here is probably the smartest thing I chose to do. It's connecting the pin taper to the bar and then placing the needle on the pin taper, leading the needle to pierce the second hole yes. on a beautiful, correct angle. It was kind of true. God, I can't imagine. I can't imagine what it must feel like to have a piercing like on the inside of the ear here, going down like on the back, like what that would feel like. Cause I bet that feels like actually quite a strange, like weird feeling. Cause it's such like an, an odd place of the ear to pierce through. We would like to then add another vertical industrial also at a slight angle to create kind of like an X effect or some type X. of cross. I've got the X factor, so show me the stage door. Offer to any client. This is another piercer that I'm piercing right now. And I'm of course so thankful. Wonderful. I, lo I, I love, I love not like unconventional um, industrial piercings, but I, w I, just, I just wonder how like, how uncomfortable that would be to like heal and sleep on when it heals because it's holding so much of your ear in place. Like I do wonder what the f like what that would actually feel like to live with because like when you do this one, at least it kind of only like it's holding this part. But when you do through here on the ear, you're holding your entire ear solid basically. So I do wonder what that must feel like to actually live with. Anyone who's got anything like this, please comment down below and tell me like what's your experience been? Has it been okay or hell? What's this? On the set of your nose. What's that on your <laughs> nose? Talking about my nose ring. It's a nose ring. <laughs> Jesus. A nose ring. Yes. Do you want one? Okay. You want one? Yeah. All right. Oh, give me five. oh, oh, oh All right. bless give me her. Me. <laughs> I love that. Oh, bless. We love gentle, very accepting, and like open, like elder people, like. Lovely. Could have got stuck. Just gonna get a one that was like stuck on or something. Well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. True, true, speeding down the railway, about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Ooh, and I'm back just like Jesus Christ. Ooh, squat for Jesus. Ooh, Jesus loved a good peach. Ooh, Jesus loved to faint on a pile of socks and suffocate. Ooh, Jesus loved to pierce his nose five times and die. Oh, that didn't even happen in this video. Oh, Jesus <laughs> loved to permanently attach metal into his wrists and stick to the cross and he can't move. Oh, Jesus on the bottom. Um, thank you so much for uh, joining me in my jar of pickled onions. Um, this video, sorry, that I'm, I don't know, I'm, it, we, it was one of the first things we reacted to in this video. I don't know what order I'm going to put the stuff in, but like that, Apprentice piercer thing has really stuck in my mind. I genuinely am shook to the core. Like I'm, I, sometimes I watch these videos and they, like some of them are a little bit similar or whatever and I forget them or whatever. So I can never remember what might have been in videos previous or something. So sometimes there are repeated clips. It's gonna happen. After all these years, it's gonna happen. But there are one or two that really stick in my mind. And that apprentice piercer thing and then the person doing it was so bad as well, who was meant to be the one teaching, that is gonna stick in my mind for a long time. I just, it was the fact that he was like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show her what she's meant to do, but then proceeds to do it anyway, but did it so slowly that it was so wrong. Like, wow. Apologize for being so burpy today. I've been, I was drinking pop. So like my, my throat has been like, oh, burpy, burpy girls, gurgly, wurgly. Um, anyway, inky, pinky, ponky. Um, thank you for watching today's video. If you're still watching this video now, comment down below, inky, pinky, ponky. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know, like, <laughs> like, yeah. I don't need too much of a debrief. I, I, let's just go. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, of course. Scan this QR code if you're watching on TV, you can subscribe. And if you are uh, here, returning subscriber, thank you for joining me again today. Um, make sure you hit the notification bell. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Spooky Scary Skylar. Thank you for following me over on Instagram. Come follow me on Instagram, because everything is react to over there too. Um, a massive shout out to my lovely Patreons, whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Thank you for being a Patreon. And my top tier Patreons do get an extra shout out, and that is Adam Brett Batch, Hannah Ruth, Kelly Rose, Nova, Cameron Pittman, Rishi, Athena Barrington, Erin Grace, Benjamin Baker, Ai A, Robin Scott Palmer, Bethard, Steph Utech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, 
and Kelly Bowser. Thank you so much for being my top tier Patreons. You guys are mwah, delishy wishy. But yeah, anyway, lots of love. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. And I'll see you soon for another video. Be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And don't let any bitch other tell you that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you're flawless, Gail.